Hello, Feud Nation. Jonathan Cross here, filling in for Adam on Trailer Trash. The reason I'm on this week is I have a big hand in Hollywood. I come up with a lot of great ideas, and I helped out on Hunger Games Rogue One. I mean, Star Wars Rogue One. We get an opening shot of a Tesla ship flying over Lake Michigan. You can see the rings of Saturn overhead. Jim, whatever I do. Here's a new type of stormtrooper. I've dubbed them Terra Troopers. Uh, they mine from the ground. They're grittier. They're rougher looking individuals. There's a young Jin Osa. I think that's the name they went with at the end. I pitched her name to be Mary Sue. She's going to be perfect at everything. Uh, let's see if that plays out though. I'm not sure. And there she is all grown up. I don't know what it is about her that turns me on so much. Perhaps it's the overbite. Maybe it's the Britishness. I don't know, but she is just sexy AF. A lot of action going on right now. Uh, our team is in the process of stealing plans. We all know this is a sequel to Episode 7. It takes place between 7 and 8, where uh, our Rogue One crew is stealing the plans to a Death Galaxy. You know, and there you can see the Death Galaxy in the distance being formed. All right. How many do I need? This guy right here is all smiles. We actually called him Smiles McGee on set. He's a fun guy. They are requesting a call sign. Here, of course, is C-3PO. He got a couple upgrades, changed his color, but he's still got that same wacky personality we love. And here's Goggles. Always has those clear trademark goggles on. I love him. This is where Smiles McGee really shines. Look at the rest of the crew. They're all kind of giving normal expressions and reactions. And then there's Smiles. He's the equivalent of the over-the-top YouTube reactors. Uh, this is frustrating. They did the opposite of what I suggested. They put her in a full body gear with just her eyes showing. I wanted her to just be wearing glasses and nothing else. Well, that's really frustrating. His stick is going to be a lightsaber in the final product. I guess they haven't edited that yet. Oh wow, I can't believe they're showing this in the trailer. This is huge. So Smiles McGee is holding Chewbacca's crossbow, his laser crossbow. He took it from Chewbacca's severed corpse after old Baca was killed in the uh, in between seven and eight. He's killed off camera very unceremoniously. It's going to be talked more about in the Chewbacca Star Wars spinoff film. Goggles is just not having it right now. This reminds me of Battlefront and how fun it would be to do this. Uh, of course, when Battlefront 2 comes out, you'll be able to purchase this as DLC six months after the release window. A very Mad Max-esque shot. I want to pause here, point out the gold paneling on this AT-AT, or AT-AT if you're a douchebag. This is a custom skin. It's a new thing that I've introduced into movies. Uh, basically, you can watch the movie multiple times, purchasing DLC costume packs. So the actors, the vehicles, everything will have a different look the next time you watch the movie. We have about 400 cuts of the film, each containing different outfits and vehicle looks. It's festive. There's a Christmas pack. Now, these walkers are to scale, and that's important to point out because we did have three cast members die by getting crushed to death. Well, there you have it. Roge One, a Star Wars story. And when you see it and love it, you know who to thank. I had to get back on the horn quick with Hollywood, see if we can get this gin thing figured out about her outfit. Yeah, Terrence, it's Jonathan Gross. Yeah. Just got done watching the final Rogue One trailer. Yeah, Jin, what, 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 what the fuck is going on with her outfit? She's got some all black, plasticky bullshit uniform on. Only thing showing in her eyes. That is the opposite of what I envisioned. I wanted her naked with shades on. It just makes sense. It's more practical. She has better movement control. We all know that women aren't bulky animals. They need to be limber. They need to be flexible in and out of situations. Okay? Jennifer Lawrence would have done this shit, and that's who I wanted to be in this film from the get-go. All right? Jennifer Lawrence would have thrown a fit about being in nothing but shades on. Okay? She went blue for a couple X-Men movies. She's going to do that. I, I know she's not British. I know British people are better actors. It's in their chemistry. It's in their makeup. But I wanted J-Law. Okay. Well, fuck you too, then. All right. I got to go. I'm still recording. I got to shut this off.